Next question. Go. The world wants to know. <laughs> do you have a girlfriend? I need some coffee in my life. Out. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Have a good fucking morning, first of all. Or good night. I don't know when you're watching this video. Today, I just decided to vlog my whole day in the life. Today is Wednesday, November 29th. My busiest day of the week. Wednesdays are usually my busiest days. I have three back-to-back -back classes. And I also go to the gym and do some other things. So I'm going to take you guys along and let's see how it goes. I also posted a little Q&A thing on Instagram. And I'm going to answer some of them throughout the day. It is currently like 6.09. I have a busy day ahead of me. And I just wanted to take you guys along. I also haven't filmed the video in a minute. And it's something I want to get back into. All right. Time to get ready. Just got to school. I have some time before my first class, which starts at nine. So I'm gonna eat these overnight oats that I made. I put in these rolled oats, lactate, because I'm lactose. And then I also tried adding protein powder. It's like this fruity pebble one. And then I also added some Oikos yogurt. I think that's it. So let's try it. I made overnight oats the first for the first time, like a couple days ago. And it was okay. I think for me, it's just the texture that I have to get used to. It's like very mushy and it kind of grossed me out. And then the second one that I made, which was yesterday, taste, tasted better. I think I got better at it. But now I added protein powder and I don't know if this protein powder is going to go well with it or if it's just going to taste straight like Fruity Pebbles. So, wah. can I focus on it? Can it focus? Can it focus? I'm hungry. It tastes like I'm um, eating... Fruity Pebbles, and they got hella soggy. But I'm not complaining. It still tastes good. I got my two history classes. Usually pretty boring. Kind of struggle in both because I don't really pay attention because I'm not that interested. And they're GEs, and it's like... Why? Why? Why do I got to take these? I'm not going to remember. So real quick, uh, we're going to go answer a quick question. First one up is, where do I see myself a year from now? Hmm, that's a good question. A year from now, I would hope to see myself like being more involved in school or in some sort of freelancing and internship just so that like, you know, I can add on to my portfolio a little bit and also get some real world experience and also build upon my own personal projects. Hopefully hit 200 subscribers by next year, maybe more, who knows? But yeah, I see myself also still doing YouTube. I definitely want to keep expanding on this because, I mean, just turning on a camera and just talking to it and like vlogging throughout my day is pretty cool. And I enjoy it a lot. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna finish this and then we got to go to class because it's 8.30 and I like to be there a little early so that I can work on a few things. I just saw Belle and Mia for our art history class and they had to go do their own okay. thing. Bye guys. Bye bye. I had to walk back to go and get my painting to present for my next class, which starts in 20 minutes. So I gotta go. But if I had to describe this painting. What's this? Yeah, this is uh, my emotional state. <laughs> I'm one with my emotions. We're also gonna go meet up with Matthew. I can't wait to see his painting because he showed me this one last night and he was not he was not close to done so let's see how much he got what, what? all right describe it to me yeah. my emotions yeah this is uh my emotional state this is me bro this says me everything you're expressing me how so um well everything on in here is symbolic so like the jacket and the horns represents like Batman and Blue Beetle, people, people that are moving the door. Keychains represent symbolism of me. Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh. oh, what's that? Oh, Cosmos. You Filipino? I'm uh, a weekend. <laughs> While uh, I'm setting up here, Matthew brought in new merch. The racing jacket from Club Cosmos. And he's going to have me try it on. Because, you know, I'm just that good of a model or whatever. This is cool. Who's this one for? Oh, it's for Zara. Wait, how come you didn't wait for him to try it on? Why am I trying it on? Because I want you to wear it. <laughs> I don't care you like it. Now I feel bad. I'm like, okay, Zara, if you're watching this video, I'm sorry. But, you know, I, I wanted to try it on. It looks pretty cool. She got it. <laughs> okay. 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 I got a few questions now that we have some time to chill. Okay. Ready. 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 If you could be a superhero, which one would you be and why? Batman. No Batman? debate, bro. Okay. Or why? Blue Beetle. Why? Because Batman is just one of the best superheroes out there. I don't know. I just like the idea of being Batman. Okay. Like, I am Batman. Oh shit. I would pick Spider Man because you know I'm Spider Man. But I also oh, want Zendaya. Beetle. Blue Beetle too, you know. Blue Beetle, oh, because it's like cool. DC cool. Spider Man, so I like that too, you know. Oh, do you call him DC Spider Man? Okay. I would say so. But yeah, I'd be Spider Man because, like, why not? I feel like his his shit would be worth in the real world. Why is it? Cheeky? That's what I was oh. about to say. Okay, ready? Next question. Go. The world wants to know. <laughs> do you have a girlfriend? I do not. I do not. And he's single, single and ready to mingle. I'm single too. <laughs> hey, what's your fashion inspo? Does Pinterest count? Who yeah, Pinterest? I guess. But okay, I guess. Well, what style would you go for, I guess? Streetwear. A little mix of um, 90s aesthetics and um, Y2K. Just a little hint. Okay. A little sprinkle. Okay. My, sprinkle. My fashion inspo is my cousin Koch. His is more like minimalist style. Very neutral colors. And I also like going streetwear. Like what he said. But Earth mainly tones. Earth tones and like more 90s streetwear fashion. Like today, basically. And then, okay. Last the question same? for right now. On the rapid questions. Okay. How far will the Lakers go this season? Ooh. Ooh. Do you think they're finals contenders? Do you think they're just playoff contenders? Well, I'm going to say, I'll, I'll say playoffs. I'll say playoffs. Okay. I'll say playoffs. Okay, okay. Uh, I have faith. I still have faith. Yeah, I faith. still have faith. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now we got some uh, nitty gritty questions. Okay. So we're both in the same, in the same major, visual communication design. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do with your degree? Oh, that's a good question. And now it's about to cut off. Three, two. Um, what do I want to do with my degree? I want to just explore and see what I'm capable of. Mm -hmm. You know, I kind of want to spend it doing my own thing and being my own boss. But okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to see. We're going to see where it takes us. Okay. And leading into that, what is your dream job? To work for myself. <laughs> and what? Okay. And like, is there anything specific? Is it still... Club think, Cosmos, or is it I think I really else? see some see a good future with Club Cosmos, so we're mm -hmm. going to just see where that goes. I feel like my dream job is really, at the end of the day, just working for myself and being able to uh, make a name for myself. Not necessarily be famous, but just to have a very uh, stable life financially by mm -hmm. working for myself. Yeah. Good answer! Good, good answer, good answer! answer. What right. about you, though? For which question? Both questions? But, uh, yeah, both questions. What do you What do you want to do with your degree? With my degree, honestly, I just, I'm not 100% sure. Specifically with my degree, I guess I just go into any job I feel like I can put value into and they see my value as well. Like there's, with the degree, I don't think there's anything specific that I do except for like maybe freelancing. But even then, that's just like bouncing Appreciate around. It. Appreciate it's not even like a specific job. As for a dream job, definitely, I'd say something in the youtube industry whether if it's making my own videos or if it's doing like videography for another content creator videos like these like <laughs> these or editing their videos or doing more thumbnails and other content and shit i would gladly do it for somebody else obviously paid not free and uh yeah something like that my second runner up would probably be photography like shooting for the lakers or shooting for an nba team and traveling around that shit would be cool and you know That'd be really cool if i got paid for doing club cosmos but i don't get paid right now stop <laughs> listen to him he is getting paid he's over that joke right now 
Yes, ma'am, bro. Okay, now that you're on this little podcast section, is there any questions you'd like to ask me? Where do you see yourself a year from now? Ooh, I answered that question already, actually. You did? Yeah, at the beginning of the video. You guys should, like, go check oh, it out. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yo, rewind. Here's rewind. the timestamp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any other questions? I think I think as of right now, I'm, I'm chilling. Mm-hmm. That was one of the big questions I had for you. Oh, okay. are you excited for your birthday? I am sort of excited. I'm very scared because everybody keeps telling me they're going to fuck me up with the drinks. And I am a lightweight. I don't drink that much. So it'll be fun to see how long I'll last that night. There'll be a vlog on that. Um, I don't know if it'll be posted before or after this. But if it is, you guys should go check it out. My little brother's going to be recording it. Yeah, we're going to go hit up the gym. We'll have some more questions there. We'll see you in a second. Break. We're going to the gym. We're going to the gym. What are we working out today, Matthew? We're working out chest and shoulders. Ooh. <laughs> them big, the big titties. Miko Sulek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look like the, the fish stick skin from Fortnite. I don't get what I want, I get what I need Every single day I'm heading off to my dream And I get everything that I damn well please I don't give a damn if you all listen to me Cause I run it, I'm the only one that really want it I'm the only one that's really got it I'm just being honest, I'm just doing everything I promise Cause I want it You got it, you got it, you got it Let's go, let's go, let's go Push, 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 push ah. No! I think I can do it, I think I can do it yeah, I think I can, I think I can do it Push, 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 push. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Usually, Matthew leaves me and I sleep in the car while because I get tired after the gym. And I don't want to drive while I'm sleepy because it's like an hour drive. So, usually that happens. But I decided to come up here and just, you know, chill. I was going to chill and get some work done, but he wanted to tag along for the one time. So, we're just going to throw a ball, just talk, time. you know, do our little thing. So, big, big final question, at least that I got from Instagram was, who or what is my biggest motivator or our biggest motivator? I'm gonna let you go first. Well, I'll say so, something that motivates me the most is knowing that there's a future. Mm-hmm. Like there can be a future out there for you. Like anything you can think of, anything that you can, that you really just work for, mm-hmm. there is a future for you if you just make it happen. Okay. You know? That's something that really motivates me. To know that there is a potential future and that opportunity is out there for you. You know, I think, yes, uh, people that motivate me are just the people who support me, the people who support me and the people who just care about me, love me and like adore my work. And I feel like I can't really think off the dome right now, but, mm-hmm. you know, I think it's safe to say that everybody who cares about me are like just true motivator, motivators. And yeah. What about you? Mm. I feel really pressured to say Matthew. What? Nothing. Uh, obviously, this guy's one of my number one motivators for sure. Brought me into working with Club Cosmos, the whole just mantra of it, just, you know, a brighter future's ahead and just to spread positivity for sure. Um, obviously, family too for me is very big. It doesn't matter what I want to do or like how I want to approach things. They're always behind my back and they've, they're have they supporting me. So they're big. it's a big motivation to know that like they got my back no matter if I fail or if I succeed. Um, another one person outside of friends and family though i'd probably say oh, oh yo, 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 yo. what up um big motivator for me like an idol i look up to is youtuber kelly wakasa i think his whole mantra of do what excites really interests me a lot or really caught my attention and something that I want to live by, which is my life as if I was a star of my own movie. Just, I mean, doing whatever you want to do, like what's really stopping me from achieving my dreams and what, like, you know, like why can't I start a YouTube channel? Why can't I go and try and achieve 100K, 200K, a million subscribers if I really want to follow my dreams, you know, just doing what I can to do what excites, do what I love to do. And then third, I would say easily Kobe Bryant basketball is also a big part of my life, big part. 
his mantra of Mamba mentality, just be a better person or better version of yourself the next day and trying to improve on. It doesn't matter whether you win or lose or whether you wanna be the one that loves to win or hates to lose. It really is just about finding how you can do better the next day, regardless if you're successful, if you're not successful, what are you gonna do next to, to get that next win? Those are my big motivators. Face that shit. <laughs> that might be the end of the video. We're gonna chill here for a sec, mess around, do our thing. But until next time, guys, thank you for tuning into the vlog. Remember, this is Matthew. Check his socials and shop Club Cosmos down below. What's up? I'm gonna link everybody else who was in the video in the description if you guys wanna say what's up. <laughs> God, let me get 100 first. I'm at road like- Road to 1 million. <laughs> road to 1 million. Hopefully. Hey, but hey. you were just saying earlier, if, yeah. if you can dream, you can do it. Why can't I get 1 million? I mean, I know why I can't right now, but what? how can I? How can, can I? do it, guys. I can do it. Can do but it. first, let's get 200. I'm at like 89, 90 subscribers. Let's get 200 first, and maybe I'll start posting more videos. No, not maybe. You got to do it. Keep going. You keep going. Do what excites, bro. If you love... What's up, buddy? Good morning. Since we're on the subject of love, is there anybody you want to shout out out there? Everybody watching this video is doing good. Don't forget to spread love, spread kindness. And uh, the most important message of the day is subscribe to Miko's channel. Oh, you guys heard Road him. to 100K. <laughs> Road to 100K. It's a real dream. <laughs> they My call bad. me the D1 fumbler, the way I fumble these girls out here. <laughs> <laughs>